Hello miners, so today I'm going to show you how I overclock my MSI Vega 56, RX Vega 56, no, it's Vega 56, wait, I'll double check again what it's called, yeah, RX Vega 56, and this one comes with the Hynix memory type so for other people I think they s said on the internet that Hynix is the lowest memory type compared to Samsung so for Hynix you won't be able to make much uh, so on my Vega 56 uh, I'm, not, I'm afraid to buy a mod it using the 64 so I just leave it at as is and so what i did instead is just follow the guide from team red minder here on their folder it will give you a guide that you can follow and then it actually helped me a lot because when i'm searching online there's different um tweaks and then it's hard to to use those because it will keep on crashing in me because they all have a different gpu different memory type but here when i followed whatever the guide here it helped me to give me a better hash rate so vega 56 the maximum i can do without crashing on my gpu is only 43.4 yeah 43.41 just not sure why it's 42.86 right now but normally 24 7 it's 43.42 so around 43.4 and then this is the tweak that i made here and then so far it is stable i haven't tried going lower than this but probably i might be able to to do that without losing any hash rate i'll try it out again later but so far i'm happy it's been running it's more stable now because before it keeps on crashing and then i'm not sure which of my gpu caused the crash because sometimes all of them will reset and sometimes only one gpu will reset so i know that's the gpu that i need to tweak again to lower the clocks so for this one i followed the guide here so vega cards vega 56 vega 64 and then this is what i follow vega 56 hynix stock to performance guide so it was written here that it, it with that this guide you can be able to reach 46 to 46.5 easily and then for some if you're lucky you can go 50 so i'm just not sure why mine won't be able to go that far so probably because of my uh silicon lottery so probably my gpu msi brand is not that great compared to the other Com this might be a cheaper version of vega 56 with lesser uh stock clock compared to other so i think if you have a more expensive vega 56 running or lying around so that might and then you bought it more expensive then that might be the one that can go further for the clocks because mine if i try to go uh, more than 815 it will crush and then what annoys me a lot is like uh